Hey guys, this is Ed from Mission Ed Possible. Welcome back to my 8-bit assembly language tutorial. Today we're going to continue working on modifying the character set. Let's get into it. Here's the source from the last episode. Today we're going to continue on uh, with this. So I'm going to actually change this. We're going to do uh, more work with character sets. So we can leave all that uh, as is. And all this stuff is actually just fine. All we're going to want to do to start is to change the character set from a ball, which we have right here, which is the left hand side and the right hand side to something that looks more like what we want to use in our game. So I'm going to open up Photoshop and I'm going to create a new image. I'm going to make it 128 by 128 wide. Okay. And I'm going to zoom in here. I'm actually going to change the background to be black. And I actually already have a grid set up so that it will do eight by eight uh, grids here. Uh, but if you want to set that up, all you have to do is go into um, edit preferences and go into guides in the grid. And there's a part here where I have grid line every eight pixels, one subdivision. And you also need to say view. Uh, you also need to go into view and make sure the grid is turned on. You don't have to use Photoshop. You can use whatever program you want to be able to edit the images. I just happen to like using Photoshop, so it works fine for me. Okay, so what we want to do here is we want to make our basic wall tile, okay? Now, last time when we did this, we set up a few different colors. So we have a medium gray, a light gray, a green, a brown, and black. So what we're gonna wanna be using for these walls is gonna be primarily the medium gray and the light gray uh, and the black for the background. So we already have black for the background. Now what we wanna do is we wanna use medium gray for our main color, and then we'll use the light gray as our highlight color, okay? So let me sketch that out real quick as what we're gonna be doing here with a medium gray. So that looks about right. Medium gray, yep, that'll work. Okay. Um, and so let's see, let us me do let me do this. So I'm gonna go across, I'm gonna go five across to on that one, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the similar thing over here. Okay, so the nice thing about this, this fits in a nice eight by eight grid. And if we tiled this, we would see that if we had five going across here, two going across here, as well as two more over here, and five here, you can see that it tiles pretty well. So we can just see what it looks like here when we put a bunch of them on the screen. Uh, we're only gonna need the one, but for now I can just show you what it's going to look like when you tile them. Okay, so we're only gonna care about this one up here, but we can use this for an example. So this is our basic wall tile. Now, one of the things that we're going to want to do with this is we're going to want to add some highlighting to it. And so we can use a light gray, we can use a white, it doesn't really matter. Just so it's a different color. Um, and so what we can do here is if we look at the way this is set up, we have this as being the upper left hand corner of the brick on the bottom. And then this being the upper left-hand corner on the top brick. So we're gonna wanna do something, you know, we're gonna wanna add some uh, highlighting to this brick as well as this brick and maybe even onto these bricks as well. So let's start by doing something like that, okay? This is like the very basic uh, kind of highlighting that we could do with this. Now we can go crazy with this. And you know, I encourage you to, to go crazy with it. Um, so we can do something like, all right, I'll make that a little longer. You do something like that. Um, and since this is kind of a continuation of this right here, so if we put this over here, we can kind of extend it out 
and we can do something like let's uh let's do something like maybe that okay now what this is going to look like is it's going to be looking like uh so this is forget that one right there so this is what it's going to look like and that's maybe not what we want uh maybe what we want to do is remove this one here so that would look like that just so it's something different than what we have down here it's really up to you um, we could do something like we could remove a chunk <laughs> uh, we could actually remove a chunk from there too if we want we could uh, leave that there and maybe um, yeah you don't want to go too crazy but you know it, it's going to look cool if you have more variations so i think this looks pretty good um, we're only using three colors here. Now, one of the things that we can start using is, you know, the other colors, but we'll, we'll get into those later. So, but for now, we're only going to worry about three colors, the background color, the main color, and the highlight color. And so I'm going to put this kind of over here and let's see if we can make this so that we can see both of them. So we have it as a reference. Now we only really care about this upper left hand corner and I can remove the uh, other images if that makes sense, but uh, we don't really need to worry about it. We only care about these eight by eight pixels. And so what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna enter them in just like we did here, okay? Um, so one of the things we're gonna wanna do here is we're gonna wanna figure out which color is our white, which color is our medium gray, and which one is our black. So we already know up here that our black is gonna be zero, okay? The background color. And the um, the highlight color, so we set, we set it here, medium gray and light gray. So our, uh, let's see, what do we do here? Medium gray, light gray. We could actually put a, uh, a uh, comment right here as well. So we can say this is going to be so we have these guys right here that we can put on here and say uh, color one is going to be, if we have this up here, we're gonna have color one is gonna be color zero. So zero one is gonna be color zero, how about that? Um, so I'm gonna put a uh, something like this, percent zero one. And then color one is gonna be our light gray, right? So we have color one is our light gray, which is one zero. These are gonna be each, gonna be there, they're gonna be the one one and the one one inverse. And then we're gonna have, we're gonna have zero, zero here for our background, okay? We don't need this uh, comment anymore, I don't think, because that was just, you know, binary to decimal uh, conversions. Okay, so now what we have is we have our list here that's gonna be our medium gray is gonna be zero, one. Our light gray is gonna be one, zero. And our black is going to be zero, zero. Okay, so we'll go down here and I'm gonna call this, okay, we'll keep it calling cares, that's fine. What we're gonna wanna do is go through here and set these all. So our white is going to be, we already put that in here, the light gray or white is gonna be one zero. Okay, so, um, so we have one zero, one zero, one zero, one zero, and then zero one, zero zero, and then one zero one zero. Okay, so that's the first line. Okay, looking at what we have here. So this this one here, hopefully you can see with my mouse pointer, uh, is a one zero going from the the upper left over. So we have four of the light gray, which is going to be one zero one zero one zero one zero. So four of those. Okay, and then we have, you know, so one two three four. And then we have 
our 0, 1, then we have our 0, 1, 0, 0, and then 1, 0, 1, 0. So now one of the things we notice here is that we have too many characters, right? This is uh, eight, you know, we, we only have four pixels that we can use, if you remember. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna split this up into two different characters, and I'll show you how to do that in a second. So, but let's just keep going down with the line with these. So I'm gonna do byte. Uh, so this is gonna be a, a one, zero, one, zero, zero, one, zero, one, zero, one, zero, zero, and then one, zero, one, zero. So that's our second line. And we're gonna do this for each one. Something to keep in mind here is that we're not gonna be doing this every time. Uh, we're actually gonna be write a, writing a program so that we can actually use images. But for the first time, probably a good idea to do this by hand. Okay, so we're gonna do zero one for uh, four of those. And then we have two zeros, or two black rather, then one zero, I don't know. Yeah, one zero, zero one, okay? That looks right, I think. And now we have uh, black all the way across, right? Okay, and then we have uh, going by this guy right here. So we have zero one, zero one, zero zero, one zero, one zero, one zero, one zero, zero one, okay? And then we're gonna do the next line. That's gonna be this line right here. So it's gonna be uh, zero one, zero one, zero zero, one zero, one zero, zero one, zero one, zero one. Almost done. Uh, we only have a couple more lines to go. So this is gonna be one, uh, zero one, zero one, zero zero, one zero, Zero, one, zero, one, all four of those. And then now we just have a row of black. Okay, now we don't want to have these other characters in here. Those are what we had from before. We're not gonna want those. What we are gonna want is these right here. Now the problem here, as I said, is that this is eight bits wide and we don't want that. Um, and so, or, this is eight pixels wide, and we want it to be four pixels wide. Now, what you can do in a lot of editors is that you can click the middle mouse button, highlight, and be able to uh, move things around. So I'm highlighting this last section here, and I'm gonna just cut, and I'm gonna paste, okay? So these are some editor tricks here. Uh, then you can actually highlight. Now this is in VS Code in most editors, so I can actually just type. And if you're not familiar with this, this is actually a big time saver. Um, so now we have the left-hand side and we have the right-hand side of this wall, okay? So now what we need is, uh, so first of all, we're gonna wanna make our scene um, that, you know, we, we, what we were doing before is we were showing the different colors. This time we just want to show the, the normal colors and we just want to have a, uh, just a single brick on the screen. Now, so all we should really have to do here is just do one and two. Okay. Now we're going to keep zero as being our blank character. Okay. Uh, we don't want to use these for our blank or the space character, I should say. Um, so we're going to use one and two for this. And I believe, let's see, where is our loading stuff here? So we actually loop in through here. This is loading the character set. And so I believe this will actually work as is. So let's, let's try this out. So I'm going to do mads and then Altira. Let's see what we got. Cool. All right. We now have a wall on the screen. It's starting to look more like a game, hopefully. Um, so yeah, so now we can actually put more and more of these in here and we can create a scene. So like, let's say I did uh, this byte here, we could say one, two, 
one, two. And uh, let's see what we have for our, um, you know, when we load this in, let's try it again. So let, let's, uh, let's just change it so that it has more, more of these walls in there. And now we have two walls. So this should give you a little bit better idea of how this is going to look. I think these, these look okay. Um, the issue is going to be that, you know, you, you can pick things apart pretty easily. One of the things that we're going to want to do though, is we're going to want to make different walls so that they'll be compatible with each other. And that way, so we can have some variations because once you have a whole bunch of these, it's going to look odd because you're going to have the similar looking thing all over the place. It gives a little bit of, it, when it, a pattern repeats like that, it looks a little odd. So we're going to make it so that we can have differences. So that's what we're going to do next. Check out the next video right here. And as always, see you in the next adventure. Take care.